and Out is a news magazine show produced by students at the Cal State Fullerton campus. Yeah, we need Titan football. Hey everyone, this is Trevor Rapley and I'm here in Lot G at Cal State Fullerton to help support Bring Back Titan Football. Today's tailgate event is during the homecoming game of the Fullerton JC Hornets. CSUF students came out in support to show the Cal State Fullerton board that we want the football program back. Right now we're just here at a tailgate for the Fullerton College game and this is just to show strong support that we really want a football team. Even though it's not technically our school team, we want to show our support for uh, our local community. Probably one of the biggest quotes I've ever heard from uh, everyone that I've talked to is, this school would be amazing if we had a football team. It's been way too long since we've had Titan football. School spirit would boost. There's, there's people yeah. out here showing that they want Titan football. We have shirts so you know it's official. Bring back the Titan football because you guys know that the community wants it and it's best for the community. It's best for the community. Let's get Titan football back here. The Titans win their first game 2018. Back in the 1980s and the 1990s, Cal State Fullerton had a championship football team and even went undefeated in 1983. Cal State Fullerton is picking it up and getting good movement off the ball. Due to massive budget cuts, the program was disbanded in 1992. At the end of that year, the name Fullerton State Titans was used for the last time. The Titan football program, as you know, has been gone for 17 years now and uh, it's time that uh, we take another look at it because things have changed around here. The school's a lot better, a lot bigger than it used to be and it's a school with no front porch. Football's the front porch of any university. Cal Poly Slow, UC Davis, um, our program's U University of San Diego. They're all playing 1AA football. They're all schools about our size. So we're like perfect for 1AA at this point. Long Beach State, if they did want to have football, they have no on-site stadium. We do have an on-site stadium, and we do have the second largest student population in the state at 37,000 students. So for a relatively small fee, which I consider it an investment fee for our university and its long-term future, we could bring back football. It's unfortunate the interest in bringing back football has come about this time because of the fiscal situation not only on the campus, the state, but the whole country. If you go back to the reason the program was dropped in 1992, was it because of the money or lack thereof? There's so many obstacles to bring back football, and I'm a football fan. I'm, I'm all for it, but it just it's uh, there was a reason it was dropped. It, it wasn't a light decision. Uh, there's so many, so many places you get revenue. The obvious place is ticket sales. The other source of revenue is student fees and just the dollars and cents, the numbers, you're talking millions of dollars to get it started. You're looking at a minimum uh, three digits, hundred dollars or more a semester per student increase in fees just to get the ball rolling. And the other factor is not even talked about is Title IX and the California Now Settlement. If you spend roughly five million dollars and have 80 football players because our student body is 60 percent female roughly, you need to take those numbers and more than double them to support women's athletes to keep yourself in the letter of the law. So any dollar you're thinking football, double it. You guys decide, is it worth bringing back the Titan football program? If you think it is, log on to www.bringbacktitanfootball.com and show your support. If enough people log on to the site and start spreading the word, it is possible the program can one day come back. This has been Trevor Rapley for Titan Communications.